right, welcome everybody to Dave Cooper Live. And today we have a special episode where we are shining a light on the people, the products, and the processes, enabling us all to build it better. And today our guests are joining us from Italy and France as we showcase A-Fold Houses, prefabricated foldable wooden homes designed in Italy and delivered around the world. So, would you like to see what it's like to live in an A-Fold home? Join us for a behind-the-scenes look at the manufacturing facility where A-Fold uses groundbreaking technology and innovative materials to build modern, modular homes that unfold to provide an affordable, high-quality, sustainable living space. Durable and earthquake-resistant, that's right, Let's tour this solution designed for many uses, residential, commercial, resorts, and even disaster relief accommodations. These homes are energy engineered to grow, move, or change with the owner's needs. Designed with Italian style for comfortable living. Based in Città Sant'Angelo, Italy, please welcome Gistano who is the CEO, Nico, the sales director of A-Fold Houses, broadcasting live from the manufacturing facility, and Valerie Meyer, live from her A-Fold home in Blotheim, France. That's right, from her A-Fold home. She is going to show us the inside. A-Fold is a registered and patented brand. The A-Fold Houses are designed and produced in Italy. Their teams have a solid experience on prefabricated construction, acquired in over 20 years of activity in planning, manufacturing, and developing various building solutions, always with an eye to the green technology. The A-Fold goal is to revolutionize the prefabricated affordable building industry through smart designs and innovative manufacturing processes and quick and easy installation processes. A-Fold Houses has their eyes fixed on a better future and are determined to build it better. Now, we can't do any of this without our sponsors, so we better just start off with that. So a big shout out to Forward Solutions Group for allowing us to deliver these examples of construction innovation. Forward Solutions Group is successfully driving companies to succeed where others have failed. Learn more about Forward's recent acquisition of ModuCore, an ERP solution for offsite manufacturing. To learn more, please reach out to Ben Hershey, Ben at Forward Solutions Group. Dot com And also a big thank you to Howick. Howick produces innovative precision roll forming technology for our customers throughout the U.S. and the world. Be sure to download your free Howick Machines Buyer Guide for modular and off-site construction. Go to HowickLTD.com to learn more about what they have to offer. So again, thank you so much to our sponsors. I love that we can travel the world virtually and talk about and showcase innovation that is happening. We had Boxable on, but this is wooden. So let's just hop into it right now. Let's bring in Nico and Giustano and have them uh, join us in the stream. Gentlemen, you're sideways on me. You went sideways. What's happening, you guys? Can you hear us? Ah, we lost their sound. I don't know. There, That's better. Not sure. There it goes. It's turning now. All right. So we have Nico and uh, Giostano with us. Nico Giostano, can you uh, can you hear us? Yeah. Sorry, guys. We're not we're not able to pick up on uh, your sound right now. We cannot hear hear you at this point. So why don't you guys uh, why don't you work on that and get back to us? We actually have a special guest that uh, we're also going to bring in while you're working on your sound. I'm actually going to play the intro video that shows exactly what we're going to talk about today, and uh, we'll come right back to you. So this is the A Fold Home, uh, and this is how it is assembled on site. And as we are waiting for for Nico and Giustano to get their sound fixed, which worked. Five minutes ago who knows what happens with the world of internet uh but this is their patented technology that we're going to be reviewing today and we're going to be discussing uh with them we're going to talk about the r d that went behind this and what their patented technology is we're also going to talk about the environmental and sustainability and efficiency of the materials they are using as well and the fast installation and logistic advantages uh as well 
So it's Italian design and high end quality. So if you are tuning in for today's show, uh, please let us know where you are tuning in from. Uh, put a cue in front of your questions if you do have questions. And like always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure if you're not following Giustano uh, and Nico and A-Fold that you go and you follow them on their website. So uh, it's going to be an amazing conversation. Hopefully we get their sound back in. But if not, we got somebody else waiting in the wind that actually lives in one of these fabulous homes. And I cannot wait for you all to meet Valerie Meyer. She's going to tell us about her experience and, and how much she actually loves what she has going on in, in the house. So hopefully those guys will be back with us in just a moment. But in the meantime, let's enjoy watching what we have going on here in the screen. Perfect. All right. So we're almost done with this. Nico, I can hear you. This is great. I'm glad you're back. Give us one second. We're just following, we're just finishing up the first video here. Hopefully you can see it on your screen as well. Um, oh, I can. And then and then we'll uh then we'll get into it here. But I just love I just love watching this, man. This is all um I mean, just amazing how fast it's going together. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Very fast, very fast. First of all, yeah. thanks for having us, Dave and Nico. This is Justino, the CEO of the company from our factory in Città Sant'Angelo, Pescara. Yeah, I, I love it. So we're in Italy. Nico, uh, you're on with us and, 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 you know, head of the business development and sales. Nico, you're the CEO of this uh, manufacturing facility. Uh, both of you speak better English than I will ever speak Italian. I can tell you that now. Uh, so... Uh, I'm I'm just so appreciative that you're going to show us this technology. I think it's uh, to me it, it's as hot as the it's the newest thing. It's like sliced bread. I'm loving it. So, Nico and uh, Giustano, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourselves? You know uh, how this all came about, and then we're going to hop into the questions. Yeah, of course. So we have been in the wooden construction business for over 20 years with a company called Aria Legno. We do produce CLT panels here in Italy, and we have built a lot of structures like residential, sport facilities, school facilities, any kind of structure in wood. Then five years ago, we start developing a project about this foldable system, just because we were trying to reduce the time schedule on the building site that we were calling it more expensive and less manageable. And so in five years, we came up with these three models that you can find on our website, Model A, Model T, Model C. The video was about the Model T. We have installed a couple of weeks ago in Spain. And the main features of our houses is for sure the portable system that grant us to prefab the house at 80% in the factory and fittingly ship in a container. And we can deliver all, all around the world. And we just need very, very short time to install the house on the building site. So we're talking, the video we have seen, it's about three days of work. So, uh, wow. yeah. So so we're, we're looking at three days of work here. Why don't you guys tell me, you know, before we hop into this, like where did the passion come from to do this? Did you just wake up one day and say, hey, I'm going to create a house that's foldable, that's easy to ship. And, you know, we can build it in three to five days. Like, where, where, where did the dream come from? The dream came from, initially, uh, from the earthquake we suffered in the center of Italy in 2009. And we were looking to some kind of accommodation to give fast relief to the population eaten by the earthquake. And we couldn't find a way. We couldn't find a way to reply to their needs uh, effectively. So that's what it's all about and i must say tell that justino is the heart and mind of this project uh he's very passionate and is very into r d with our engineers so they started discussing you know just brainstorming about what's the best solution to to provide fast accommodation and yeah. we started developing this project it was a long way it took about five years <laughs> See, it, it, Oop, did we lose them? I think they froze up on us here. All right, we'll bring them back in here in just a moment. So 
Uh, why don't we go to this? Let's have Valerie come on and join us. Valerie, you're living in one of these homes. Seems like we're having some uh, Italian internet connections. How are you, Valerie? Hi, Dave. Um, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate you coming on the show today. Uh, you know, and I think we got Giustano and them back as well. So we better keep running with them, too. Um, so I'm just going to leave everybody on screen here. So uh, go ahead, Nico. You guys uh, you guys uh, froze up on us again there, but that's okay. We're going to we're going to keep going with it. So we were talking sorry, about the passion of it. For... But, hey, listen. Yes, it... the passion is something that came from the family. Yeah. Uh, this family has been in the wooden trading since the 70s. And then the second generation, so Justino, uh, start, you know, building with wood rather than just trading wood. And so it's a long, long story on our back, really. Well, really. And, and, and Justino, I know, uh, you know, uh, you're, you, you, you speak English uh, and you're not saying much because you don't speak very good English in your opinion, uh, but uh, you, you dance all over me. So I think you're doing an amazing job and I think this is going to be a lot of fun to get into it. So um nico you know where are you guys standing right now we're staying in our factory in Città sant'angelo on my back you can see a, a model t under construction okay uh yes that's what that's where we produce our houses uh all the production is based in italy at the moment and we are delivering worldwide shipping from here so you can see a model t on my back there's a model a on the other side of the factory you can see Okay, so it's the yeah. other shape of the house. Uh, yes. So that's of an course, that's an A frame. A, so let me ask you this. That's an that A, -frame. a frame. Yeah. That's it, the first model we developed. The A frame is the first model we developed. Then we realized that maybe some customers will need more uh, useful surface upstairs. So we mm -hmm. tried to solve the A frame issues about the upstairs, you know, floor. And right. we came out with a Model T. And now we are launching our Model C. So, so we are. If I'm, uh, if I'm looking at this yeah. correctly, that is five sections put together to make that size. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. The base section is 2.2 meters by six, and we can attach basically how many uh, units section we yeah. want to start from a house of 50 square meters, so about 600 square foot uh, to the largest one. For example, batteries. It's yep. about uh, it's about something like one thousand and six hundred square foot. So yeah, we oh, can yeah. start from the smallest one, uh, increasing the size as per our customer needs. Right. Well, you can, you can see where Valerie's sitting there. I mean, there is uh, plenty of room and comfort uh, in in your house, Valerie. I mean, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, did you decorate it yourself? Okay. Uh. Yes, but I didn't have so much to do because the house came. It was almost finished with a yeah. hood finishing, you see, with the color in my back. And I just had to put my furniture in and the kitchen. I love it. I love it. Well, we're going to we're going to hop into some more of this. All right, uh, Nico, let's get into this. Right. We got foldable technology. You said it took about yeah. five years for this this vision to, to actually come to life. You're, you're building all over the uh, all over the world now. And Valerie, I think we had a mistake. You're in Switzerland right now. That's where your home is, or is it in no, France? I'm, no, it is, uh, the house is in France. The, hand, the house is in France, right. I'm yeah. living in Switzerland, and it's my kind of weekend house on, okay, on the countryside. Just, so we did get it right. Good. Just wanted to make sure. Um, all right, Nico, let's get into this. Uh, let, let's talk about the R&D and, and the patented folding system that, that you guys have come up with. What What's so important and special about what you guys have done here? The work was about engineering the the, the, the engines because it's all about the engines. And so, yes, we, at the end last year's, uh, submit for a brand new patent uh, called A Fold, and we have, of course, our tech department working on it. And yeah, it's patented. And but I can assure you that, mm, that there's a huge, huge job uh, under this this system, and to to finally come to something that really works and that allows to deliver uh, fast, yeah, uh, yeah, houses. 
perfect perfect so and, and and with this and valerie's still with us don't worry everybody out there she's still here um but with your system i mean these look like they're really heavy you know steel or metal brackets that you're using um for this is that accurate uh during this uh years what we have done is to reduce the quantity of steel in the house actually so we are using plate steel plate uh put in the glue laminated timber so to avoid thermal bridge as you can see uh you, you just see some part of the hinges there's not a huge huge metal structure uh it's all about plate inserted in the glue laminated timber creating a series of hinges so that's that was part of the job to avoid to use too much steel to avoid thermal bridge in the structure because one of the features of this house is the energy efficient it's very very you know uh, um, yeah, energy high efficient. energy efficient house. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah, and we're we're going to talk a little yeah. bit about that in, in, in just a moment. So let's talk yeah. about the structure itself. Is it? Uh, are they solid? You know, like what are the walls made of? Can you share that with us? I mean, I it, see you have some CLT. It's a and timber some... frame. No, no, we are not using CLT for the okay. construction of the A fold. Even if we produce CLT in this factory, but we prefer to use a timber frame system for these houses because it's lighter and because uh allow us to reach a very very high hard factor is the the the, the value you use in the usa yes. we right. use the u value but it's okay. pretty the same and so no it's it's a timber frame it's a timber frame made with glue laminated timber so very solid very durable okay. and easy to work because every single element of this structure is worked on cnc machine so it's every very hole, precise. Every cut, yeah, it's very, very precise, and it's very easy for us to assemble in the in our factory. Yeah, yeah. And and how many units are you guys currently producing? You know, Sorry, per, Dave. How how many units? How many houses do you produce a year right now? At the moment, we have order for about other uh, 50, 55 houses between Italy, France, Panama, Israel. And yes, we shipped a couple of houses in uh, US, in the USA. But of course, if we want, if we really want to go global, we have to set up new factories <laughs> in the USA, Dave, because we are, we are getting a lot of inquiries. We are raising a lot of curiosities from a lot of customers in the USA. Of course, it's very hard to manage everything from Italy. We yep. did that. We installed a couple of houses in Michigan and it was, quite an adventure, but we did it, but we did sure. it. And so, yes, what we are basically looking for is for uh, partners and people that are interested in working with us in the USA, because we really believe it's a huge market for us, really. Yeah, no, it, it definitely is a big market for you. And you'll be surprised to know, but since I started marketing this and putting it out there, I have quite a few people that would love to speak with you. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about that later as well. So, all right, let's let's get into the sustainability side of this. And then what we will do is we're going to show another time lapse video uh, and we'll show that time lapse video. And after we talk about the sustainability of what you're doing in the environment, um, why don't you talk us through like the sustainability side of how you guys do your operation and build? Yeah, uh, first of all, the insulation. It's the, it's the, it's the main uh, issues here. Uh, our R factor is about uh, 60, 55, wow. 60, depending on the model. And yes, and it's increasable if, because we know that there's some area in the USA that uh, requests some very, very high R factor. And there is no gas in the house. Everything is uh, with heat pump, cooling and heating is with heat pump, solar system, and solar system for the domestic hot water. And so the house is very, very efficient. The house is very, very efficient. Plus, all the elements are uh, coming from certified supply chain. So all the wood is coming from uh, certified forest. And we really, we really care about the environment. And we are really struggling to do everything possible to respect the environment uh, yeah. in building our houses. Yeah, and I and I think that's the the way forward. I think that's what we need to do to protect our planet and make a safer place yeah. for the next generation coming. Um, you know, and and, and you can definitely do it uh, out of wood 
in, 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 yep. a, in, a, in, a, in an environmentally friendly way, which I love. So, uh, Nico, let's uh, why don't we show uh, this next time lapse? And then after we watch this video, uh, walk us through the process of one. How does one work with you? How do they design their home? And then I want to talk about how much of the finishing of the project do you do? So let's watch this video first and then we can talk about all that. Sound good? Yeah, well, sound good. We look for high efficiency and natural materials to create comfortable and cozy homes. We believe in sustainability, design and quality to be the main pillars of the new housing of this era. That's why we decided to partner up with Bayfold and started the building process of this Model T show house here in Tarragona in Spain. So, I mean, look at that. I mean, how many days was that uh, start to finish? Just to set up the house, it was about three days. And this is a very particular case because the lady we have just seen is Andrea Castillo, is a co-founder of Marshall Homes, Spain, and they are our partners in Spain. So that's why the house came without internal finish. It was just agreed between us that they uh, would take care of completing the house inside. Um, but usually what we are delivering to our customer is a complete finished house. So all, all the internal paneling, all the electrical, uh, thermal system, everything is included in the house and everything is about 80% installed in the factory. What we cannot do in the factory is to set up the staircase and install the bathroom fixtures. And yeah. Very, very little, very little. So, the, yes. The... And another particular, very interesting point about that house, as well as Valerie's, uh, the house is not installed on a concrete foundation. It's installed on a screw pile system foundation so that we are really not uh, having an impact on the soil and on the environment. Wow. So, There's no do, concrete do, foundation. So, Do you ship the uh, screw piles with the house? Yes, of course. We can do that. We can ship oh. and install the screw piles, of course. I love it. Yes, of course. That's what I heard. We will fix it, right? Or we'll solve it. That's, yeah, we will that's, fix that, it. We'll that's fix Nico's it. way. We'll... That's our motto. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, think it's, I think it's a great motto. Tell me, is the wiring, so all the wiring, the lighting, how does that work in your homes? It's 
everything is installed in our factory, including the wiring, including the lightning, including everything. So yes, we have just to connect to the main grid, make yeah. some attachments on the, between the units and just to connect to the main grid. All the plumbing is already installed, all the attachment for the kitchens are ready. So yeah, the, the, the job to get done on the building side is very little. Sure. And what, what about- As you can room? see on my back, we have yeah. the electrical pipes already yeah. installed on the walls and in, on, on, in on the internal walls too. Yeah. So yeah, all, everything is wired. So it would be very easy. Yeah, to, to put together. Completely. And then you, you yeah. just ship with the house, the toilets and the sinks, anything that needs to be installed in site still comes with the house. You just install it once it's up. Got it. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Correct. And what about your mate walls? How do you how do you tie the how do you tie the structure together when you put two units back to back? Yeah, it's it's using screws basically. Huge okay. screws that have been calculated from our engineers. So screws are enough to seal and put tight the units. Yes. Yeah, I I I absolutely love. Yeah. It. All right. So why don't why don't we uh, why don't we bring Valerie uh, into the conversation? Valerie is somebody who currently well, lives. Uh, well, she this is her second home, but has one of these and lives in it when she's there. Uh, and she's getting ready to start her garden and some other things. But I think uh, this will be it's so important to show. And then we have another video that actually shows Valerie's house, uh, which mm -hmm. I think will be a lot of fun as well. So why don't we bring Valerie? Mm -hmm. All right, Valerie, you're back. I know you, you came in. You saved the day in the beginning, you know, so um, we, we appreciate you here. So, Valerie, why don't you tell us from your experience, um, you know, how, how was the process of, you know, one, working with A-Fold? I can already tell working with Nico is a fun, fun thing to do in Estano. <laughs> So I think it was really nice to to work with them. The proof is we still talk to each other even after a whole construction project and you see many things can happen. And what was really interesting was a real adventure because uh, the house that you see here was really the first one after they developed a new uh, patent. So it was a real pilot project. And when I say pilot, I think we tested many things. We tested the storm during construction right? yeah. It was a real, uh, you know, there was a bubble tower. We had uh, on the construction site, we had three of, no, four or five different languages. We <laughs> managed the project from three countries. But it was really, I, I have to say, we had fun. We had fun. And um, when I called Nico and I worked with the whole, honestly, we manage the whole project via WhatsApp. I said, Nico, we have a pro problem and he answered, we will find a solution. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So but it was really yeah. teaser, the development, you know, that I really wanted to develop an ID and to, to test things and to, to see what can work, what can be developed, right. but test and adjust. And it's what we did with the project. You know, I want for everybody that's out there watching this, I see that we got some tried and true manufacturers and other builders out there. But if you're a consumer and you're interested in products like this or any project, uh, as Valerie just said, I will tell you now, there isn't a single project in the world that has happened without a hiccup or some unknown. It's not the manufacturer. It's not the builder's fault in most cases. It's just it's just the nature of what we do in the environment, because every site is different. No matter what you do, it's no different than baking cakes. One baker bakes it different than another baker, but you know there, there's always going to be differences in something. Not sure that was the best analogy, but that's what came to mind. Um, so with so with that, uh, why don't we show uh, your house, Valerie, and then we can talk a little bit about what it's like living in it. How's that sound?
this is where you're sitting right now, Valerie. Like, the, the, so you're looking out the window of of that gorgeous view. Yeah, I have a beautiful view on. So I'm in France, but I see German. Yes, see the Black Forest in front of me, and the the old village of Blotzheim. So the yeah. view is beautiful. It's beautiful piece of land, and it was a perfect place to to have this house here. Sure. Now, why did why did you pick a fold to want to build? <laughs> Nico, shut your ears, just in case. <laughs> so I think I had a long reflection, you know, on habitats, the surface we really need, the impact on the land, um, the durability of the material, also the long-term maintenance. So I was honestly doing, as everyone, searching internet for good ID. At the beginning, I focused maybe more on Scandinavian house, because in Europe, when you think wooden house, you think more on Norway or this country. Uh, but then when I came across um, the Arfold project, who was really a good combination of uh, sustainability and Italian design, then I, uh, I made my choice to work yeah. uh, to, to go for this project. Sure. Um, and, and, it's, and it's a beautiful house, so congratulations on that for sure. Uh, we did have a question, uh, Nico. Matteo yep. Atwe asks, what materials do you use on the inside of the walls? Yeah, we, we can use different materials. Ha Valerie's house is paneled inside. We, we installed a uh, birch panel, but that's an option. We can use any kind of uh, wooden panel or drywall or boarding as in Spain. So whatever the client needs or wants, I think we can stop. We can yeah. do that. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Um, Birch panels are gorgeous. Right. Really. They yeah, are. So uh, Tim Tim Kunt says, Dave, I spoke with Nico three years ago about patty design and licensing. Okay, possibly a North American factory. Do they plan to grow in North America? If so, how? I would say that that's why we are here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Basically, what we need to expand in America is. It's partners over there. We are a medium company in Italy and we cannot manage a huge market like the American ones. So yeah, we are in touch with a lot of potential investors and people who is interested in buying or in collaborating with us. And that's the only way. That's the only way for right. us. Yeah, and we have to set up a factory over there. No way to transport our houses from Europe to to the USA. We can do that. We can ship two units in a 40 feet containers, but at the moment, transport is very, very expensive. Uh, it, we, we, we are hoping that it will came back to some kind of normality. Yes, now it's crazy. Yeah, it, I mean, well, with gas and everything else going. Peter Molinar yeah, in the house. Price. What's happening, Peter? He says, uh, when buildings this style is construction in Canada. They are known as A frames. You know, every Canadian say A. A, how you doing? A, right? Hey. Not, not picking yeah. on my Canadians there, but that's the. <laughs> they're called A frames. That's kind of funny. Thank you, Peter. Uh, I love some humor. Humor. Andrew Seely's joining with us. He says hello to to Peter. That's out there. Um, Tim also says uh, Canada is ready to welcome the system, funding, factory, location, skilled labor, best in class technology, partnerships, private equity, government housing and support. So it looks like you got a big fan here with uh, with with Tim Kuntz, definitely on the bandwagon. And Thanks. listen, if Thanks you guys are out there, if you're watching this, uh, you need to make sure you go and check out AFOLD. Uh, make sure you follow Nico and everything that they are doing at AFOLD. They have an awesome uh, Instagram and YouTube and everything else and a great website. Uh, and as always, make sure you subscribe to Dave Cooper Live after this show. You can watch all this great information over and over again. And if you're not tuning in live and you're going to watch this like most people are watching it, and that's uh, Saturday morning with coffee or something, uh, we appreciate all the support that you give us. So we love it. All right. So listen, guys, we're at our we're at our time mark here. Nico, what did we not cover? What do we have to talk about uh, about a fold that I missed? I think that you said almost everything in your introduction because the the the, the, the a fold houses are affordable, are sustainable, are easy to install and fast to install. So yeah, this is this is the main these are the main features of our 
house and i don't know maybe that it would be great to work with us i don't know <laughs> yeah well i i think uh you got a great salesperson below you valerie she's ready to quit her full-time yeah. job uh from what i understand as soon as she can convince you of that no i'm just i'm just teasing. but i think i have um, to say something i have to say something i want to say something about valerie because uh, we owe her a lot because she believed in us since the beginning and uh, she really liked the idea when we just prototype a couple of houses and she took a risk she faced the challenge and yes we owe we owe her a lot we are we are bringing people as valerie's every week to see the house and yeah. you know uh, so th thank you very much thank you very much but it was really worth it because it's such a great concept and uh, all the friends when they come they feel so good in this house and it's a perfect place to, to really be with friend and i'm waiting to have my garden and also enjoy the, the terrace and but really a great concept and i'm i'm really happy to have done this adventure with you awesome well listen i think it's uh it's a good adventure when you have good people doing good work um, there's always ups and downs, but it's, uh, Nico's response of, we will find a solution is how we become better. And that's how you build trust with the consumer yeah. as well. That's out there trusting in you. Right. It's a, it, it's a work in, it's a work in progress always. So awesome. Valerie, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for, for, for joining us and giving up your time today. Uh, Nico, this is awesome, man. I know we had some internet glitches in the beginning, but yeah. listen, we're, we're thousands of miles away and look, we're showing factories to people that normally wouldn't be able to see what you do and, and what, what you're all about, right? People buy from people they like. And I love showcasing people with passion, people like yourself, Giustano and, and yourself, Nico, and, and, and to have a customer come on and do a testimonial who doesn't get commissions or paid from you. I've heard we got to talk about that, Nico. Um, yeah, we, it, it, we, we, we talked about a couple of beers so. Yeah, no right, big right. Deal. <laughs> I, I think that's absolutely fabulous. And we got some great things coming in. We got Kirk Hudson from uh, Calgary. Hey, Kirk, that's what we were saying. That's how you say A-frames in, in Calgary. Hey, he's, uh, he's up there in that world. All right, listen, everybody. Uh, I want you to make sure you reach out and follow and like and ask any questions you have. And Nico, if you guys are looking to do business here in the United States, they're open for business. Let's go. Uh, let's we bring are. some of these over here. I think they would make a great, uh, great um introductory to our market i think other than you said michigan i i could see these in a lot of other places other than michigan as well so we appreciate all of you and mark fair naked willie says uh thank you uh nico as well mark's on our bs friday show speaking of bs friday thank you mark for putting that up there eric on is live this friday we're gonna be talking about a mechanical system so make sure you tune in it's going to be a lot of fun this Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern on BS Friday with my good friend, Bearded Mark Naked Willie. And he, he doesn't come on the show naked anyhow. One last question. Can they explain the steel connection and getting it passed through the building codes in Europe and the homes they have done in the USA? There you go. Can you can you take that one, Nico, real quick? Can I explain the steel connection? Oh, what does it mean? I, I mean, uh, I guess the plates. It passed, the plates it passed. Were yeah yeah we should we should can you yeah, show one closer to yeah i don't think so because everything inside it's put inside the glue laminated system the glue yeah. laminated timber so it's not that side i cannot show you the hinges on the structure because they covered with wood right okay right. so maybe if i share this i i could i could collect some plates around the factory and show uh. But now that's a, that's okay. I think it, we have another way of doing good. this. Let me uh, let me let me add this back to the stream here, and I believe somewhere in here, there you go. Yeah. Doesn't that show the plates right there? Yeah, that show the the hinges on top of the roof. Yes, yep. not the ones inside the vertical wall. But yeah, that are here, something. right? But I'm I'm assuming yeah. it's a similar type of connection, just smaller and in the wall. Yes. It's smaller. It's smaller. Yeah. It's smaller. Right. Right. So that's that's kind of what they're looking at then. And then he was asking about the building codes, getting it passed through uh, Europe and the United States. Are you having any issues getting the building codes passed? Some kind of issues, but mostly related to the system because we have different standards. The structures is not the main issue. We have just to work on the system. So electrical plumbing, AC systems, because 
uh, the structure is pretty easy to calculate according to your local building code. So no, I wouldn't say the structure is an issue. Yeah. And, and if I want one in, let's say Florida, you guys will help me get all the approvals. Of course we will. Of course we will. All you need is a technician of yours that will work with us for a couple of weeks. I love it. I love it. All right. Great. Well, listen, everybody, thank you for tuning in. We are out of time. Valerie, thank you so much. Nico, thank you so much. Both of you stay right there. I'll come back to you after the outro. So don't hang up. Uh, And then the rest of you out there, again, please join us this Friday with my good friend, Mark Barenaked Willie. Nobody knows more about passive house construction than that guy right there. We're going to have Eric on live, uh, which is going to be talking about mechanicals. You want to learn about some good stuff? You got to join us this Friday, 1 p.m. with my good friend, Mark Barenaked Willie. All right. And everybody else that's out there, we are headed to where am I going? San Antonio on Saturday. That's right. Well, Saturday night. So I'll be in San Antonio through Tuesday. And then Tuesday, I'm heading to Phoenix. That's right. To Advancing Prefab, one of the greatest shows on earth when it comes to offsite construction. So be sure to look me up if you're going to be at Advancing Prefab. Uh, I'll be there Tuesday, leaving Saturday morning. Outside of that, I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your week. It is hump day, so hopefully this helps you get through the day much easier. I'm Dave Cooper. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.